hello guys and welcome to the channel i hope that you are all doing good hope that you're all great my name is nicholas thank you guys for the support as usual don't forget click that like subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell it really goes a long way for it to, to help this channel to grow and i thank you guys road to 30,000 subscribers it means a lot for the daily support guys yeah man the all-time goal scorer all-time leading goal scorer of orlando pirates the legend of orlando pirates so villagazi is not happy with the Orlando Pirates form and I think it's very important for me to make this video before Pirates plays because if it happens that we don't get the positive results these calls will only intensify they will only become more and more you know Orlando Pirates and his technical team must leave the club he is not happy in the last eight games Pirates has only won two in the league and also the number 18 on the lock it's not looking good they have a match against Sikukuna united tonight at half past seven and benedict tovila gazi agachablanga because it's a player corner but at the coaching department manje yo manje affected him what exactly did tovila gazi say let's get to exactly what is he saying so guys you can't struggle to win with such players I think the management is just scared to say the coach has lost his touch. He goes further to say sometimes, sometimes uh, to use the same approach in every game, there is always going to be a problem as club will eventually figure you out, right? I think that's what is currently happening at Orlando Pirates. The teams always study their opponents. He says that uh, Pirates' problem is not the technical team as a whole. When Fatlu left, we still kept Manjang Negasi as an assistant coach. I don't understand why, because they both failed. I'm also going on to the fate. He goes for to say Pirates need to get a new coach who will bring his own technical team. Rivero and his technical team have now reached the ceiling and they can't help us any further. They have exhausted all all their plans we need a new brain we need new personnel we need people who will come with new ideas that's exactly i'm just quoting directly from what tofila has told it kick off perfect and those are his exact words you know and yeah man uh, he's saying that they need to go they need to go even fatlu he needs to go because the moment i mean not fatlu the moment we let fatlu go Majangli has stayed. Why? Because they failed, both of them, according to Tofila. So he says, Nah, you Majangli has. He must go. And they also, Coach Osa Rivera and his technique, they must go. There needs to be a new personnel in the team. Guys, uh, what's your take on all of this? You know, I really enjoy uh, reading your comments and hearing your thoughts. Tovila Gazi, Abaning Vele, Bakwata, but Abang Yabapini Batak, see legend, the pirates, because some of the time it's just gonna say things that will not be nice to listen or hear, you know. Um, I get where he's coming from because the results are not coming. I get why he's asking for this to happen but is it the right thing to do is it the right time to do it do we really need to let the coach go right now there's a lot of things to consider you know yeah currently the results are not coming and he's right you know it looks like our coach i plan b like i parents i'll send a confidence no more is so shy or it's difficult because we have the same approach it makes it easy for our opponents to come and play us you know we just keep possession without any value we don't use it we don't score you know there's no plan b like there's no there's nothing that we're gonna do to change the game to see with manje uh, we change our tactics because they're not working maybe in the first half or the first 20 minutes it's just the first approach from the first to the last and it's really not working so the coach needs to work hard he really needs to work extra hard uh to to regain the trust you know of some of the fans i have seen some of the fans want him gone also so yeah i'm afraid we will see what's gonna happen tonight uh very interesting game you know to watch and the coach i i heard him when they asked him about the fans would he what is your reaction because the fans are not happy the fans are 
furious obviously and the coach says Wuti, the fans will always be the fans you know whether you win or lose the fans will always complain he says Wuti, get fan uh, even if it's win and my fans will still come and say where is this one why didn't you play my favorite player you know so there's that pleasure also on the coach and uh, you can see guys the team that we had when the season started i can count it for you you had sipo chain you had Mungane, you had Marco, you had Koki, you had CBC, then you had Monari, you had Ndlondro, you had Mashwangani as a 10, not a 8, not a winger, as a 10. Then you had Saling on the right, you had Mufuking on the left, if I remember well, then you had Libasa. That's the team that I remember that Tarret was using consistently, you know, Munare, Ndlondro and Mashwangani in the middle, a 6, a 8 and a 10. Yeah, and most of the time you would see Munare becoming more comfortable the relationship with Munare and John was very good to a point where even when we played Skukune you wouldn't tell who's playing a 6 because you wouldn't tell who's playing an 8 rather or a 6 because they would change the position sometimes John was going sometimes Munare so there was that a chemistry in our team but uh, since then uh, after this FIFA break uh, you can see uh, it's there for you to see what the team has changed you know abo saling abo sadlali abo mfukeng abo sadlali uh don't have a sadlali munari nae most of the time uh umaka sadlali there are injuries involved the suspensions involved but it's not an excuse we are not going to come and use that as an excuse the same thing that the coach is saying uti ati uh physiologically what what uh, the doctors will understand why we are suffering I don't get that comment i don't understand it because we have depth we have a lot of players we have abu pule mangatali abu uloch babu ile manji you have abu kimvidu you have abu kapinga you have abu makaula una yongi into as an orlando pirates coach i don't think it's a valid uh you know uh you know excuse to say it's because we've been playing two days three days in between i think that's the whole purpose that pirates management went to get new players for us because they knew it was going to be difficult it was going to be difficult because we have a lot of competitions now we're no longer playing those competitions but we're still struggling so there's something wrong with our team of it we need to face it no excuses something is wrong and one of the reasons that we don't have plan b j that's it even this thing you would it's difficult to play against the low block i always counter it and ask google when you played stellen Porsche and a b2 one nil in the first game were they not playing a low block all the teams most of the teams that we play it's a low block we failed to go to the group stages of kf champions league because of joining playing a low block we failed to score two or more goals at home but we knew Uti, we considered away we only scored one and that one goal from mahopa was not convincing we've been struggling to score goals so we have an issue and the issue here is not only with the coach the players are relaxed the players are casual the players they don't shoot you know I, I don't understand what's going on in our club maybe we need a new striker coach the striker coach that we had last season but there's a lot of things that are just not going right for us and i don't know you know um i ended up eating a lot né? there's a lot of things guys we can talk the whole day about this club but it's over lagazi so yeah man buffet um i hope with today pirates wins because if they don't win i uh, the, the calls for the coach to go have started on social media they're out there the fans are not happy even on the orlando pirates pages they know but manja my fans they're getting tired even the last game when the coach removed the lodge i saw the fans were not happy so something is wrong and then sadly when i'm trying i'm anticipating if it's not uh, at home the fans will start to do things you know so we need to get the results before it's too late you know so let's hope with today something is gonna happen at orlando because kukune cannot come and beat us especially after our poor run i don't think it will make things easier for us so thank you so much guys please comment down below tell me your thoughts and don't forget to do the right thing click that like subscribe and click the notification bell thank you is thank you perfect